record setting holiday weekend. Millions of people across the country were expected to drive, fly, and ride to honor Memorial Day, including more than 800,000 Marylanders. WJZ has live complete coverage. Christy Breslin is monitoring our roads. Traffic, as you can imagine, is building up on the highway. But we begin with Rick Ritter downtown breaking down the numbers of people who traveled by air and hopped in their cars this holiday weekend. Rick? Yeah, Jess, 38 million people were expected to travel this holiday weekend. That's the most since 2005. Nothing short of a hectic weekend on both the road and in the air. Long line, steady traffic, and some quality family time. Being together, that's the best thing. Can't beat it. It's all part of the holiday weekend. But it's, it's medium hectic. <laughs> For Memorial Day, roughly 34 million people were expected to hit the roadways. We're seeing uh, an increase in the amount of people who will be traveling by car this year. Making her way back from Disney, Jenny Cameron is one of them. Uh, Fredericksburg to D.C., always terrible. <laughs> Traffic Keith Nixon and his family can relate to. It's been pretty good, but it's, a, it's been a little thick in certain areas, but it's been pretty good. While enjoying the cheaper gas. We've been gassing a lot. But the gas is pretty good. We've been getting some pretty good prices. AAA says there was an increase in those flying this holiday weekend, and with TSA lines a major concern, many weren't taking any chances. Like Michelle Bell and Stevie Clifford, who were visiting from Southwest Florida. BWI is really a big hub, so we were concerned, and we're here three hours before our flight, and there's no lines. The two are part of the 7% bump in air travel this year, an increase Dave Wagner hasn't noticed. No wait at the airport in Phoenix or here. A holiday rush that's now coming to an end, with everyone giving thanks to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. I'm just incredibly thankful for them for this country, for the freedom to be able to fly and see each other on Memorial Weekend. And if you're still waiting to make it back home, if you haven't left yet, AAA says the best time to leave tonight is at 10 or 11 o'clock. Jess, back to you on TV Hill. I have a little bit of coffee with that. Rick, thank you.